guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing what I eat in a day, keto, low carb, high fat, and today I am testing out cauliflower pizza on my continuous glucose monitor. I've been trying to get into the routine again of waking up early and getting my day started for my miracle morning. And so this morning I brushed my teeth, I got ready for the day. And I do intermittent fasting and typically I will do black coffee in the morning and I started consuming these Signal OS AM and PM capsules for DNA repair and I really like that they have really high B12 vitamins. They're perfect to take while fasting and they don't like upset my stomach at all. So I had two of these AM capsules this morning and you can see how they kind of help with like energy as well as the cell turnover with the fasting. It kind of boosts the autophagy benefits of fasting. So I brewed some coffee and I recently, I'm testing out just having black coffee from the time I wake up until after noon. And so that's what I've been doing. So I did some meditation this morning and goal setting as well as reading of a new book that I'm reading from Ed Milet, one of my business mentors. And um, I set out my goals as well as gratitude for the day. Limitation, scarcity, and pessimism about what's possible for you. If these beliefs are the basis for how you look at life, Now, after getting ready, if you've been following along, I use a continuous glucose monitor to track my blood glucose levels. I don't have diabetes. I do this for metabolic support and feedback. And so I installed a new glucose monitor. These last about two weeks each and anyone can get these. Um, I do have a link in the description if you want to learn more about how it works and how to get your hands on one of these. I love it because it literally tells me like minute by minute what different foods are doing in my system and how my body is reacting to the foods that I'm eating, what types of foods I should be eating, what types of foods I shouldn't be eating. It just kind of helps me understand what spikes my blood glucose and what doesn't. So I installed a new one of these and it does not hurt at all. And then I had a call with one of my promoters to help them with their business. And then we took the kids to lunch and I'm about to break my fast with one of my absolute favorite cauliflower pizzas and this is my first time testing it on my glucose monitor to see how my body responds so i did a buffalo chicken pizza i literally ate half this pizza so this is my first meal of the day and i had a glass of wine at lunch as well focusing on that balance and then when i got home i mixed up some ketones i'm doing electrolytes with a decaf nat liquid ketones i really like the ketones because not only do they have really high b12 vitamins but also these liquid ones have no sodium they're not bound to a salt and they help with the energy the mental clarity the focus i just love the way i feel helps me the rest of my day just to stay on track and to follow through with this lifestyle it's almost like my liquid willpower and the results are in on the pizza i scored eight out of ten which is almost the highest score you can get it did not push me out above my limit this tells me it's a good meal to have so i was off track with keto because my sister came we went wedding dress shopping for her i had family here um separately from that in addition to that so um i just decided to just say whatever i'm it's part of balance just like knowing when to go off when to stay on track i was off for a little over a week i just kind of did whatever ate whatever drank whatever and coming back on track to keto i always get very bloated very swollen because when you eat carbs your body retains water like it just retains a lot of water so if i look swollen to you that's why um but i'm feeling really good getting back on track and one thing i wanted to mention about the cauliflower pizza is that you don't know unless you actually have the monitor installed for yourself how your body's gonna react and even if you literally just get one of these monitors and just do it like for a month i think that information is so valuable because i've learned so much i've learned what to eat what not to eat this specific scenario at this restaurant without this monitor i would just assume that this meal would like throw me way off track but it doesn't like it doesn't, it barely spiked my glucose, which keeps your insulin levels low. And this lets me know, like this is a an eight. So this meal was an eight. I typically try to stay around the tens, 
but every once in a while having an eight is not bad right and so that's what it does it gives you clarity on the types of foods you're eating so just wanted to throw that out there i would definitely recommend trying it out to see how you do specifically because we don't know we don't know what um like different cauliflower pizzas are made with we don't know what they add to them we don't know how our body's going to react to them so my example does not mean every single cauliflower pizza is going to be okay for you because chances are there are a bunch of different cauliflower pizza brands that are not okay um so really testing for yourself is the best way but i'm really excited that these results came back the way they did because this just kind of shows me that not all cauliflower pizza would be considered on the no-go list right and this is a restaurant we like to go to a lot so i'm really 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 happy about that so then i organized my closet because i tried to get rid of all the extra clothes because i'm working on manifesting my goals and so i got rid of any clothes that i'm not wearing to make room for new and so i was still hungry a little bit later so i decided to make one of my favorite pre-made prove it meals which are keto friendly and they're so good so i'm making the chicken with the cauliflower mash this one always scores a 10 out of 10 highest score up my blood glucose monitor for being one of the best types of foods that you can have it doesn't spike my blood glucose at all it almost mimics fasting the way that i try to eat foods that don't cause an insulin spike don't cause a glucose response and while I made this, I'm listening to a business training that my company provides. Four minutes later, my prove it meal was out of the oven and toaster or microwave. <laughs> okay, microwave oven. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. I plated this up and the cauliflower mash in this is so thick and so good. It is the best I've ever had anywhere. I can't even make this myself if I tried because it's just so good so i like to just chop up my chicken you can mix it all together if you just like that flavor all in one i do add a little bit of sriracha to the top of this sometimes i'll add extra cheese on here and sometimes i'll add some ranch to that it just depends or sometimes i just eat it exactly as it is right out of the box so tonight I'm having my Signal OS PM now to help me sleep, to help with that cell turnover while I'm sleeping and to start my intermittent fasting cycle again. So thanks guys for watching this one. The links are in the description of any of the products that you saw in this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.